This video is going to be um, about the basic functions and structure of our skin, which is uh, the integumentary system. Um, the skin is the largest organ in the body. Uh, this picture, by the way, is taken from the body's exhibit, um, where an individual has uh, had their skin removed here. All this is um, preserved, and, and their skin is, is over here to the side. Uh, the integumentary system includes the skin, which is uh, the cutaneous membrane, uh, skin derivatives uh, like sweat glands and oil glands, hair and nails. So all of those things are included in the integumentary system. Integument means covering. Uh, and so functions of the integumentary system are going uh, to involve lots of protective functions. Um, so they're going to protect us from mechanical damage, right? So that's like physical things, um, abrasions, etc. Like we touch lots of things with our skin and we don't want to just like damage our organs, right? Like so it protects us from mechanical damage, chemical damage like acids, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, thermal damage, so like changes in heat uh, and cold, um, bacterial damage, so so uh, bacteria trying to get into our bodies, uh, the skin is a great border for that. Um, aids in loss or retention of body heat, um, it prevents drying out, all of those different things. Um, it can also aid in the excretion of urea and uric acid um, to, to help remove wastes from the body. Um, and I, it's sort of covered by my video here, um, but it can also synthesize vitamin D. And let me um, X out of that. Uh, uh, it also has uh, sensory receptors that can detect touch, temperature, pressure, and pain. Bring myself back here. Okay, uh, so a little bit about the structure. It has generally two kinds of tissue, so epidermis, um, which is made of stratified squamous epithelium, so lots of layers of those flat uh, um, epithelial tissue cells, and then the dermis, which is mostly a dense connective tissue. Um, there's a little bit more to it than that, but for our purposes, these are going to be our two main uh, pieces. There is also the hypodermis, which is subcutaneous tissue, um, but we will not talk that much about the hypodermis. This is an enlarged image here. You can see that the epidermis made of that uh, stratified squamous epithelium is up at the top. The dermis includes a couple of different things, but is generally this large, thicker layer below the epidermis. And then the hypodermis continues beneath that. A lot of our extra structures you'll see are embedded within the dermis layer of the skin. So a little bit about the epidermis. It is the topmost layer of skin. So this is a zoomed in image of that top layer. Uh, so you can see the little section that we took here. Um, made of stratified squamous epithelium. Uh, strata means sheets, right? Um, again, uh, epithelial tissues are avascular. Um, so the stratified squamous epithelium here, it has no direct blood supply. Um, and that's why, like for example, if you shave uh, a part of your body, um, you do cut off several layers of cells each time, but you're not bleeding every single time that you shave because there's no blood supply directly to those cells. Okay. Um, the cells are filled with keratin. There are all these different layers to um, the epidermis layer, but we will not be talking too much about them. Um, the cells are generally uh, made in the lower levels where you have dividing cells that are going to be closer to, excuse me, uh, closer to a blood supply and um, as we get more and more cells the cells get pushed further and further up um, into the higher levels of the epidermis they lose blood supply they fill with keratin they are they basically die off um, and so we have these dead cells generally covering the top layer of our skin and so we constantly are replenishing our skin layers um, and we have a new epidermis every 25 to 45 days because of this replenishing of skin cells. Okay? Um, uh, in our, we're not going to watch this now, but in our, in our uh, PowerPoint presentation, you can watch this video. Um, I think it's a TED Ed video about uh, what makes tattoos permanent, which is pretty cool. Uh, because if you have a tattoo and you're changing the color of your skin in certain areas, and we get new new um, epidermis every 25 to 45 days, how do um, 
they stay permanent. Um, so fascinating stuff. And I'll continue in another video about skin color.